Today we're in beautiful Litchfield County in the downtown historic district of Torrington. Welcome to Geppetto. Hello, welcome to Geppetto. Thank you. Here, take a look at our menu. Beautiful menu. Let me introduce you to my son, Federico, the chef. Hi, Alika. Hi, Federico. What delicious Italian delight are you making for us today? Today, we're going to make bucatini alla matriciana. It's a classic Roman dish. Mm. Let's do it. So we're going to start heating up the pan a little bit, and we're going to add our guanciale. Guanciale is a cured meat made out of um, pig jowl. What I noticed that was interesting is you didn't put any oil in the pan to begin with. How come? So the guanciale already has quite a bit of fat that's going to render as it cooks so it'll end up crisping up and frying in its own fat instead of oil. It's a very simple dish, not a lot of ingredients, but they're all very high quality, so the flavors come through. So what are you adding now? Is that water? Yeah, so I'm just putting a, a smidge of water into the guanciale as it fries. It'll stop it from burning so hard, and then the guanciale will become a little bit more crispy. And you're leaving the fat in the pan. You know, without leaving this in there, that, you know, the texture is going to get kind of soft. You're going to lose that nice crisp. So I'm going to add this tomato right here. Add a good pinch of black pepper and a little pinch of salt as well. And we'll cook it at a nice low heat. Now you're tossing the pasta? Tossing, adding a little bit of pecorino cheese, and we're ready to plate. Nice. I'm gonna add a little bit of my pecorino fonduta. This is the only time that we differ a little bit from the traditional recipe. And then we'll finish off with our beautiful guanciale. And what's your perspective? Um, Geppetto's has become my favorite restaurant in the area. The reasons for that is the charm, the experience. Every time you come here, there's a great buzz. It's such a warm and homely environment to come into, and that really stands out from other restaurants that we've ever been to. Michelle and Carlo are wonderful. The staff and the food is great. Our favorite thing to do is to come in and sit at the bar, have a craft cocktail. They make a mean old fashioned. Every time I think about a place to go, I think of here. When I think of a couple of meals that I just need to have, I come here. Thank you for taking the time to talk with us today, Michelle. You and your husband, Carlo, opened Geppetto's here in Torrington. Tell us about that. We moved up here 13 years ago to raise our children to nearby New Hartford. And meanwhile, we still were managing our restaurant in Brooklyn, Convivium, Osteria. We were considering other towns, but this just ended up being perfect. Tell us about some of the artistry in here. We want to make you feel like you're stepping into a countryside restaurant in Tuscany or wherever. And so that's what we said to do with wood, with masonry, with copper, with lots of European urns. And it's very rustic and homey and you, you get a, like a one day vacation into the European countryside. And you're right next to the Warner Theater. Do you get patrons from the Warner Theater? The Warner is a draw. There's all kinds of great things happening at the Warner now. A very interesting show happened about a month ago where an Italian pop star came on a Sunday night. It was a group, they're, they're called Il Poo. Italians from all across the country came to Torrington <laughs> from early dinner, lunch, and then after, we had all Italian speakers in here. Yeah, that must have been fun. It was the oh, craziest amazing. thing, it was great. You just started live music, tell us about that. Starting for every third Sunday of the month, we have Brian Duford, who's a composer and a classical guitarist. He's gonna be coming in and playing uh, Renaissance folk music so on guitar. So it's gonna be very interesting. And speaking of, what about the dishes? To start off with, we have carciofa alla romana, which is a Roman-style braised artichoke heart stuffed with mint and parsley and garlic. And we also serve a beautiful prime ribeye, and then we use an Umbrian truffle butter. The steak is extremely tender. It's really good and somewhat shareable. We also have agnolotti, which is like a ravioli, looks like little pillows, and it's with slow braised veal and uh, leeks. And then it's served with a funduta of toma piemontese and uh, parmigiano reggiano. And then we also have a tagliatelle al ragù, which is a typical meat sauce, veal, pork, and beef. Beautiful tagliatelle fresh pasta made here, just like little ribbons, but not as wide as the pappardella. So whether you're in the mood for romance or just a night full of good food, Geppetto's is the place to be. Thank you. Thank you. You don't need to travel all the way to Italy to experience its culture, food, and ambiance. All you need to do is come right here to Torrington. That's my perspective. Hey, New England, what's your perspective? 
Geppetto and Torrington.